if if Dunkirk wasn't the best movie this year, I just recently um, I recently saw Get Out mm. finally, and I was so impressed with that yeah. movie. It was. Um, I encourage you to. First of all, uh, there's so much in that movie that I felt I haven't seen it a second time since. But I think that that would warrant a second viewing. There's this interesting YouTube clip of Jordan Peele, mm. the director, Jordan Peele, commenting on different fan theories mm. that people have about the movie, that what, what it's really about, yeah. and, and, and so on and so on. And it's a really funny clip, because mm. Peele is a comedian, um, and that's why nobody expected this movie from him any, mm. anyway. But he's a comedian, and and he's he's got this... He's got a funny way. I, I think I'm going to put a bit of that in the in an insert and so on. But he talks about quite funnily about uh, about the really crazy theories and the really mm. interesting theories that yeah. that have been that why the certain characters behave in that certain way yeah. in that movie and within that world and so on. I just realized that the reason the groundskeeper grandpa runs so much is because the grandpa wanted to have a fast black body because he lost it to Jesse Owens. That's right. Yeah, I always had this idea that uh, Grandpa, who's in Walter's body, is running because he's trying to beat Jesse's time. Anyone think it was intentional that he was freed by picking cotton? Um, yeah. We had a special arm uh, of the chair made with cotton stuffed into it so we could have the the grand irony of he, him being freed by cotton. You get it. Uh, that's the basement. We had to seal it up. Put some black mold down there. Black people's bodies are used as molds, a hollow shell for white people to use. Black, black mold. mold. Yeah, I meant that. That's what I meant when I did that. Thank you for this. These are very good thoughts. Um, some of y'all are crazy. And I think that there were so there were so many nice references to other movies. I mean, there, there's there's elements of Lynch there, and mm. there's elements of Kubrick yep. there. Clearly, I thought I thought that there was really strong element of Kubrick. There was an element of Cronenberg. Mm. All all of these guys that I really like, yep. and yet it was a completely standalone movie in its way. And you can view it in so many ways. You can view it as a, a pretty standard, fair horror movie. Yeah. You could mo uh, f view it as a comedy, yeah. in a way. Uh, comedy is stretching it a bit, mm. but anyway. And you can wa uh, view it as a social satire, which mm. it obviously is. And it's, it's about racial tension mm. in, 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 in the States. And I think that it does, all, it does all of these things in a way which I... This is, these are the types of movies that I like most, mm. like um, Fight Club, for mm. example, which takes a really entertaining uh, two central performances and puts them in, in this really weird story. Mm. And yet it's, it's, it's really entertaining, but it's saying significant things yeah. about the society that we're living in. Mm. I, I think that's the best possible movie. that, that uh, I don't like... I think that there's, there can be a really intellectual movie about a really heavy and really important mm. subject, and it can still be worse mm. than a really entertaining movie about that same subject that's, yeah. that's able to say those same things and still at the same time feel, make me feel like a kid going mm. to a movie yeah. again. Uh, so it wasn't perfect. It had some things that were sort of flawed, but even those things were interesting. But I, I was I was so impressed with that movie, mm. I really really liked it, and I can't believe why I missed it last year. And I can't believe because the, I was going to go see it. I think that the problem was that they don't really didn't know how to market it. Mm. But it, when it came to when it came to Finland, um, Finnish cinemas in I think in May of last year or something like that. Mm. It it ran for like maybe two weeks here mm. or something like that. And, and when I saw the poster, I thought, well, this is a horror movie. I don't really watch mm. horror movies. When I saw the trailer, I was like, what the hell's going on? I mean, yeah. what, what is this about? 
and it didn't give me enough time to react to it and then it was gone mm. and then just a few months later it's like this there's this really really good movie that was out mm. and i was thinking well, how do I, how did i miss it and now it's been almost a year since it came out mm. and i went to see it and my expectations were really mm. really I thought I went into the theater and I thought I can't, I can't put too much because I've had bad experiences mm. with this, even in in re with recent movies like Black Panther, for example. Mm. That they, they, there was too much expectation going in, mm. and then it blew me away. No. I no, I, I strongly, I strongly, strongly urge anyone to go see that movie, and please. I mean, give me a reason in the comments of this video why you didn't like it. Well, I've heard one comment that went something like this, that it's basically a B-horror movie with a twist, sort of. Like they usually do have a twist. Yeah. And that was basically why um, that person didn't like it. and. But for me, it was sort of, it was so innovative yeah. and it was so entertaining and it was so weird. And, and there were so many levels yeah. and, and all those levels made sense in the end. Mm, yeah, it was really like this. Because I've, ha I've had trouble. Tr <laughs> you like, had like, trouble! Like I'm having now, I've, I've, I've had trouble articulating this. But why, why do I think that it's such a good movie? And I don't, I still don't know. All I can say is that, it, in my opinion, it's really innovative, it's really entertaining, and it's sort of like really weird and kooky, and it's scary also, and it has like really good performances, and there's this weird tonality to it that is sort all of the all, the all, the all the time a little bit off but still sort of like in a really good way. I don't know how many more reasons you need for <laughs> it to be. <laughs> yeah, but I need something that I can really pinpoint. Like yeah, this. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think that, that that's one of the strengths of the film, that it, it, it does defy categorization. Yeah. And it's uh, one of the reasons why it is, is, so, is so interesting is, is that it, it, it functions on so many different yeah. levels. And, and you, can, you can decide to watch the movie, mm -hmm. and this is rare, I think, it, especially with Hollywood movies, mm. that you can decide to watch the movie based on a certain mood. Yeah. You can go inside and s decide that I want, I, I want to watch this movie as a comedy. Yeah. Or you can decide that I want to watch this as a horror movie, or you can decide that I want to watch this as a social satire. Yeah. And each time it works. Yeah, that's true. It, 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 it does have this sort of like a multiple geometrical layers in it so yeah. it's yeah. funny. And, that, and that's and why I that's why I thought of it as, as Fight Club yeah. because Fight Club had the same thing I thought that it, it it was an you can watch it as a sort of an action mm. movie or you can watch it as a, a, as a really a, a, a basically a tragedy about mental illness yeah or you can watch it as a comedy uh, and you can watch it as a representation of the society that that was really well, prevalent I think at that's the time. One of the reasons why it's so satisfying, because um, I don't know if this really is a good comparison to make, but you know, in food there's this taste called umami, yeah. that is basically just the taste of being satisfying, and it has all, all these, all these four di other tastes plus umami working together, yeah. and it makes for a really satisfying meal. And I think this is that kind of a movie that it has all these all those layers that you mentioned, they're working together, and for some reason your mind picks up on it. And it's just satisfied by the fact that it's seeing something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's why I, for me, like um, Dunkirk and Get Out were for me the best movies of the year. Just simply because they both did something in, within the art yeah. of movie making that I so, hadn't seen yeah, before. It furthers the movie making yeah. art. Yeah. That's yeah, true. It, it, it's, uh, I was really blown away because I didn't really have much expectations for Get Out, really. Yeah. And uh, it was, yeah. And it's, it's, it's sort of, I think, what's movies, it's 
because in my estimation it is better than three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri and the key reason is that it's it works better as this multi-dimensional harmo harmonic whole Ebbing isn't quite as good as well put together yeah it's a bit disjointed yeah. Yeah.